Wounds, they can be acute, they can be chronic, and for chronic wounds especially, it's important to understand the cause of the wound, as the etiology should be considered when deciding on the treatment plan. With so many variations in wounds, there are also many variations in treatment options, and it's often difficult to find a standard of care that's consistent among doctors and institutions. Well, we've got a panel of experts here today to help identify the treatment protocols and the challenges in wound care. I'm Dr. Peter Salgo. I'm a professor of medicine and anesthesiology at Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons, and I'm the associate director of surgical intensive care at New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. Today, I am pleased to be joined by Dr. Michael Casimias. He's a microbiologist and podiatry specialist who founded two companies utilizing telehealth technology to enhance wound outcomes for patients enrolled in managed care plans in Boynton Beach, Florida. Dr. Robert Snyder, a professor and the director of clinical research and the director of the fellowship program at wound healing and clinical research at Barry University School of Podiatric Medicine in Miami Shores, Florida, and the past president of the Association for the Advancement of Wound Care and the American Board of Wound Management. And Dr. Samuel Young, the previous senior medical director at Medicare in Jacksonville, Florida. I want to thank all of you so much for being here. You know, one of the, the questions that comes up all the time, and it's often unspoken, is what's a wound? What's a wound? Is it simply a cut? Is it something else? How do you define a wound? Anybody want to jump in on that? So a wound is basically a breach in the skin or a breach in the epithelium. Uh, it could be caused for a number of reasons. Certainly uh, trauma is one of them, but uh, we see it very, very often in patients with disease like diabetes who have uh, numbness in their feet uh, or neuropathy. We can have acute wounds or chronic wounds. Um, acute wounds heal in a, a very orderly fashion. Chronic wounds do not. And I think by definition, a, a chronic wound is anything that stays open between two and four weeks. Okay, so I think we're going to be talking more about chronic wounds here today. Everybody has had the opportunity to nick themselves shaving. That's a wound, right. and that usually heals by dinner time. <laughs> and that's not what we're talking about that's today, true. all right? So, when you're dealing with these wounds that hang out for a while, for weeks at a time, um, what are your goals in the management of these wounds? Anybody got a set of goals for me? So certainly the, the goal is to first and foremost heal the wound. Uh, that may seem like a very simple process, but unfortunately in patients who have diseases, underlying comorbidities, as we say, particularly diabetes and peripheral arterial disease, it becomes a, a, often a very challenging uh, event and requires a, a multidisciplinary approach. And the goal is to heal this darn thing. To heal. And my sense is the wound's fighting back. That's correct. You know, so who is impacted by these wounds? Is there a group of people more so than others that are, that are affected by these wounds that are lasting weeks and months and sometimes even longer? Well, the patients themselves are, uh, the caregivers, their family members, I would say the treatment team, um, and uh, society as a whole. How so? Why society? Um, in many of the, if, excuse me, in many of these instances, the cost of these uh, wounds is borne by payer groups, society in general, through tax allocations for the care of these patients. So society does have uh, an impact on the treatment of wounds. You know, I think it's difficult sometimes if you don't have one of these comorbidities, and we'll get into these comorbidities in a moment, to wrap your head around the fact. I mean, people heal. That's one of the salient features of Homo sapiens and other species. You cut yourself, not only does the skin come together, even the skin creases match up, you know? So it's tempting, I think, for practitioners to say, ah, it's a cut, it's a wound, it'll get better, but it doesn't. And, and that is, is something you need to get your mind around. Have you seen this in practitioners where they, they don't really get it? Absolutely. Uh, we particularly see this uh, in the uh, offices of the family practice physician or the general practitioner who really uh, is looking at this, to your point, as, as a cut. Um, patients who have wounds that don't heal obviously have an underlying cause or an underlying comorbidity as to why that uh, doesn't occur uh, on a normal wound healing trajectory. And, and uh, very often we see this in the diabetic population, we see it in patients with vascular disease, and we see it in patients who spend long periods of time in bed or in a wheelchair that, uh, that are constantly uh, uh, having pressure on those areas so that those mm -hmm. wounds will not heal. Those are, those are so-called pressure ulcers. Pressure ulcers. Tough to treat. 